So in my previous videos, I spoke a lot about project notes. It's actually the foundation of my task management system. Basically, my task management system is uh, composed of different parts. The first most important part is the project notes, which will funnel the task into the daily notes. So there's also Kanban board for long-term projects and all that, but we'll just put this aside first. But these two elements are the most important uh, elements of my task management system. So this is actually, what you're looking at is actually a project notes, a mock-up that I sort of uh, recreated from an actual work project notes. Basically, my project notes are single sources of truth. It's a document that contains everything you need to know about that project. It includes uh, any information, uh, meeting notes, tasks. Well, I'll explain the template to you right now. So here are the sections. There's a brief explanation of what the project is all about so that you can immediately get the context of the project. I have meeting notes, tasks, um, closed tasks, and what I learned from the project. So, meetings. Originally, I thought of having separate documents. I used to have separate documents for my projects. But then I found it so difficult to organize, you know, and sometimes I forget to tag them and then I hit tags. So I thought, why not just include everything here? The great thing about Obsidian is that if you include stuff under H2, H3 tags, you can collapse them. So you see, okay, let me expand them. Right. My meeting notes usually um, will contain the questions I'll ask during the meeting, the answers I get from the questions and the tasks that come up from the meetings and the decisions that were made. So I usually put it here. It sort of it acts like a log of how the project is going. Tasks, self-explanatory, um, but I work under, I work with Kanban boards at work huh? and we are ticket based. So I usually put the number of the ticket here with the link to the actual ticket. I do not care to, recreate the entire board here because I feel like that's a waste of time and Jira works perfectly fine on its own. I don't really need to, you know, um, recreate it. So general tasks is on top here. These are not, these are tasks that are not related to any ticket whatsoever. Okay. The function of the task is to log in any information related to that ticket as you know every ticket even though there's like one task per ticket sometimes that one ticket takes many 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 tasks just to complete so i list down all the many micro tasks related to that ticket here and then i also do something called interstitial journaling pretty sure i mangled that word but never mind interstitial journaling is sort of like my thoughts about each task Sometimes it provides context to that task. Sometimes it's like observations and things like that. So you can see how it works here. This is considered interstitial journaling. Right. So that's that. Actually, there's more to that. <laughs> I actually forgot to add that the thing that makes it possible, the thing that makes my entire task management possible is a plugin called Task, right? Um, let me have, let me show you how it looks like. The settings, task. All right, this plugin is so useful. I honestly only use like maybe ten percent of its functionality, but basically I use it to funnel all my tasks from various projects into one daily note. So basically, let's say let's have a look at this. So this task is scheduled for um, 5th of June. So if I open the daily note for the 5th of, for 5th of June, the task will be there. All right. Or rather, on the 5th of June, this task will appear. So, all right, this is uh, important. Without the task plugin, my task management setup will not work. I think one of the most important things 
for every project is to document what you have learned from every project because no project is perfect. There sometimes will be delays and mistakes done. So the, the most important thing to do from this is to document what you have learned from that snafu or the snag or whatever. And this is where I do it. Yeah. So you can see an example of how I do it. So yeah, this is how my project notes look like. Very quick video. Um, hopefully it will inspire you to do the same. And yeah, I, I really like this system, you know. Uh, I really like the fact that Obsidian allows me to create my own task management system. I just, I'm just the sort of person that do, doesn't like to be boxed in, into other people's processes. I like to do my own. So this has been a really good uh, way of doing things and I'm very comfortable with it. Do you keep project notes? Um, how do you manage your projects? Do you use Obsidian to do it? Or something else? Just let me know in the comments.